Whatever. Hello. Hello. If you're watching this on YouTube, I appreciate you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, yeah. Chill evening painting stream. Hopefully, tonight. I'm going to be continuing on with the tab project. I've got the sergeant dude to go, and then just some final detailing. So I'm really hoping I can finish these tonight. Because that'll be a really awesome feeling. So I am not going to waste too much time. I'm going to get right into it as soon as I find the first paint, which is somewhere on my desk. The main reason that I want these done is so that I can tidy up my hobby desk once and for all. Magic, welcome in. Thank you so much for the offline donation to the laptop, by the way. I really appreciate it. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a good day, Magic. I appreciate you very much. So doing, doing the usual today. <laughs> I say the usual. I'm uh, trying to finish off a project today. That's the plan. Plan is to get this all finished. Um, I might need to add one or two things after stream, but I'm hoping they will be like. 99% done by the end of today. So it might be a longer stream. We don't know. Depends how depends on the paint and how long it takes to dry and all that sort of stuff. If you've ever painted a model like this, or if you if you paint regularly, you'll know you'll know what I mean. Thank you. Welcome in. Had to double check. Aw. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. What's up? There we go. There we go. Focus is all being all weird for some reason. Yeah, I'm doing this early uh, because these guys are on a bit of a deadline. Um, so I'm, I'm doing a, an earlier stream, an earlier painting stream this week. Uh, it might be a regular thing. I don't know. I have to sort of. I'm still kind of tweaking my. Um, schedule a little. But welcome in. I hope you're well. It's been too humid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got that as well. Sadly. I'm sorry you're dealing with that. Magic. Humidity is the worst. I'm hoping it doesn't have too bad of an effect on painting today. Checking you clicked on the right window. Yep, this is live. This is uh, a genuine broadcast. Now, I I never plan on doing rebroadcasts. Um, if you want to watch it again on demand, then it's all on YouTube. how I'm going to do things. Is this for me? Um, ish. <laughs> it's not a commission, exactly. Um, it's a project that has a deadline. Uh, it's not for me, it's for a thing that I can't really talk too much about yet. Until I... Like, it, it's kind of an audition, in a way. It's the best way to put it. Kind of an audition. Um, so, in a way, it's a commission, but at the same time, it's not. Um, kind of complicated to explain without saying what it is and possibly breaking NDAs. <laughs> Uh, oh, also continuing the painting. You're done with the foot. Nice. Congratulations. 
I'm happy for you. I hope the rest of uh, the model is a smooth painting experience. But yeah, I... I'll be able to let you all know about a bit more about this in a few weeks' time, when I hear back from these, but I need to submit them by the 8th. Um, which means I really need to get a move on with finishing off the paintwork, uh, so that I've got plenty of time to take good photos, deliver the models if they need to be delivered anywhere, all that sort of stuff. So this is kind of, I've got today, maybe tomorrow, and then the rest of the time I really need to kind of have them ready, like 100 percented kind of thing, you know? To allow for shipping difficulties. Plus I like to submit things a little ahead of schedule. Hello, welcome in. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Hey, Prox, welcome in. Good to see you. Claire, how's the new job? I haven't had a chance to talk to you yet. I hope it's going well. I hope you're enjoying it. Going around this a while, yeah. I kind of just, yeah. I'll, I'll be able to to talk more freely about this in a few weeks' time. And it's nice to say I need to do a good job, and they need to be done soon. Okay, I'm not gonna bother clapping that yet. I'll. I'll paint over it. It'll be fine. Thank you. Good sleeping, getting ready for work. <laughs> Aww. And the boring stuff. Well, hopefully. Even though it's boring, uh, hopefully everyone's being good to you and, you know, all the people you're working with are good and, you know, it's a nice environment to be in. That's the important stuff. I'm going to get a slightly wider brush so I can kind of get better coverage. Small is a new job painting nails. Hey, I meant what I said. I thought Small did a great job on that. Um, painting nails, way harder than it looks. Harder than painting minis, in my opinion. Good. People actually seem nice. Awesome. So we like to hear. I'm super happy for you. Then that's great. And now, uh, is it today's mainly going to be focused around this guy? This is the one that we didn't get done on Sunday. But there's going to be a bit for every every single member, apart from our Finnish commander. I've got the commander there as a reference, basically. Um, 
so that if I get stuck on which colour to use at any point, I can kind of use that one as a guide. It's just a purple base coat. Okay. Which is almost done, actually. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I understand. It's it's a midweek stream, you know. Most people are working. I get it. Um, not everyone has a weird and wonderful schedule like I do. <laughs> Where you get to have the beginning of the week off and then have to work at weekends. Iridescent Sun. This is a basic colour. Trying to keep it a very light base on the iridescence. Trying not to get too heavy handed on it. Just enough to be seen. But yeah. Like I said, normally today would be a day off for me, um, but I'm experimenting with schedules again. I still don't feel like I've quite found the right schedule for me in terms of streaming. Um, but it's hard when I'm, you know, physically not doing the best I could be. Mentally I'm great. Physically, a little bit ropey right now. So I'm trying to figure out schedules a little bit, I'm trying to work out what works. Drive by Levin's are as good? Absolutely. Whether you're here for just 30 seconds or the whole thing, I appreciate everyone who stops by. Any time that you choose to spend here is appreciated. you could spend it on an e-stream and you chose to spend it here so you know that's a resource you can't get back Hoping this error, this doesn't look too strong compared to the others. Might be a little bit stronger. Not that iridescence, but it's um the third <laughs> third different technique I've used for this. I've got one that had pre-blend, one that had wet blend, and this is uh, no blending at all. It's just layering. back on what I was previously talking about a second, I've noticed a trend of a certain type of content creator who will badger you about, like, engagement and subs and all that jazz, and I'm like, the only thing, the, the biggest thing that anyone could do for me is to choose to spend their time at my stream. <laughs> Now, time zones exist, unfortunately, 
So I, I know not everyone can make it. And I don't hold it against you at all. But I see so many people chasing numbers in other ways. And I, I just want to see my friends. That's all. Whether it's two minutes before you have to go to work or a long chill session of gaming. I'm just happy you're here. And the rest of it, like all the, the money and stuff like that, it's nice, you know? I do aim to make this my full-time job, so don't be wrong, it helps, but it's not the main goal here. And if anyone ever feels like that is my main goal, please tell me. I don't want I don't want to be one of those streamers <laughs> I don't want to be the oh my god guys you can't even afford a five a fiver for a sub I don't want to be that way <laughs> Clive welcome in good to see you I hope you're well <laughs> no, no, don't need to break. You don't need to, you don't need to do any of that. And as again, it's appreciated hugely, but it's not necessary at all. I'm just here to enjoy the company of good peoples. I'm lucky that I've got a community that is filled with them. And for anyone who says, no, I'm not a good person, you are. You're a member of this community, therefore you are. That's, that's the rules. And I do make the rules here. Okay. Anyway. That's an important stuff. We're in that time. Woke up every hour. Ooh. That sucks. I'm sorry. Girls, heretics. Yes. Shenanigans and chicanery. But also the mo most wholesome heretics. Now I do have to apologize a little bit. I am running on no caffeine today. Uh, so if I seem a little grumpy or a little out of it, that is what has happened. Basically it's a slanoside artist? Ooh. That sounds simultaneously amazing and gross. I want to see it. <laughs> I need to log into DVD at some point. I got some stuff to redeem. And I'm pretty sure I've missed the window for it, but I want to be sure that I don't miss any more windows. Coffee. I can't. I can't have coffee at this point because otherwise I won't sleep tonight and I've got work tomorrow. 
That's the problem. I realized too late in the day that I hadn't had any caffeine today at all. Um, so I couldn't have caffeine and avoid the inevitable headaches. So, it's a little bit sucky right now. That's fine. I'll survive. Inspired by the Furies? Nice. Thank you, what a trim! Welcome in! Thank you so much for the hydrate, I will do in just a moment. How's it going? Too early to sleep, too early to wake up? Yes. But also, I'm pretty sure I read that out wrong. But yes, I agree. It's just... Ugh. Sleep schedules in general, just kind of bleh at the moment. My physical health has kind of not been doing good. Just been affecting my sleep. It happens. I can, I can deal. Sure, I'm redeemed to hydrate. I should hydrate. Oh, there's the curse line for an EDLC. Ooh, exciting. I'm more excited for Festus. It's a Leech Lord, right? It's his title. If it's been wild. Good kind of wild, I hope. Mostly. This is each other. Not the great. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It, uh, it seems like there's a lot of it going around at the moment, Trim. So I'm sorry to hear that you, you've been having a rough time. But I hope things are turning, turning to a better swing soon, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Please don't judge me on my lack of eloquence right now. <laughs> I mean it sincerely, even if it doesn't really make sense. I wish you nothing but good things. <clears throat> Money has got up. Nice! And first of five tattoos. <gasps> oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry for your loss. But I hope the D and D campaign, and the tattoos, and everything else all go smoothly and without any any trouble for you. I hope you have fun with it and enjoy it. And enjoy the experience. Oh my goodness. Magic! Thank you so much for gifting us up to Trim. I appreciate it. Trim, I hope you enjoy your pandas. They are for the next 30 days. Symbol of sacrifice from Berserk. And then the Mark of Nurgle. Hey, nice! Can uh, join the club. <laughs> I 
haven't yet read Berserk, but I plan to soon. I wanted to get Mark of Nurgle. Yeah, respect for all life. No matter how microscopic it may be. Kind of a cornerstone of what I believe in. Okay. Um. So right up my alley. Yeah. I just I I've read a lot about Nurgle and also the gods that he was like the real world equivalents that he was based on and inspired by, and it is literally just sanctity of life, basically, but to a degree that is not really seen a lot. You know, Nurgle's sanctity of life includes microscopic life, and, you know, the, the ugly parts of life are almost especially loved, but it's also life and death and rebirth it's not just life it is the cycle of life and yeah, it's, it's some, as some, someone who's in who was in microbiology who's very interested in science and ecology in general um, it was a very interesting moment to see what I'd studied and my hobby collide quite so strongly. And I wanted to mark it somehow. So I decided to get it permanently etched on my skin. <laughs> As a reminder. That... Yeah, no matter what, the world's got some surprises left for you. Real Nurgle. Yeah, the real Nurgle in me. I love Nurgle a lot as well. Decepticon themes? Ah, You're the second person to say that, Magic. That's not what I'm going for. Necessarily. But I can see why you'd think it. It's the purple, isn't it? That's why everyone's saying it's Decepticons. Um, fancy his marks covering despair. Yeah. Yeah, despair tying into, um, you know, the despair of death and destruction. Yeah. Yeah, despair and hope is a cycle just like life and death. Exactly. Exactly. You'd be the most likely god to have fire. I, funnily enough, I said almost the exact same thing when I got the tattoo myself. It's like if if these gods had power in our world, 
Not only would Nurgle be the most likely one to prevail, but he'd probably be the one that I would most likely submit to and follow. Because, you know, all the reasons I mentioned above, basically. And this is before the pandemic hit. <laughs> now the pandemic's hit. I'm just doubly sure. And if there's a cabin in the woods-esque bet going on uh, for the future of the planet, uh, I my bet is on uh, pandemic caused by global warming. Is to say, if we're gonna go out, I think that's how we're going these days. I think the melting ice caps are gonna unleash a virus that we cannot deal with. And then it's a uh, good night, humanity. Hello. Whatever comes next. Which, you know. Might not be a bad thing for us. Yes. Go 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 phrase Nurgle. Yes. <laughs> Ask Grey Six and Love Hurricane. Maybe I'm I'm talking about like the the tipping the thing that tips us into um the species cannot recover. You know. So, specific areas, maybe we'll have a different thing, but I think what will tip the species into the, uh, we're not gonna survive this situation, I think will be a virus locked away in the ice caps as we speak, getting released out into the world because of global warming. And we're just not going to be able to, to fight it. Just look at what COVID did to us. Monkeypox has started now. And uh, speaking as someone with a, a little, a humble amount of knowledge in this area, uh, there's more. So if late stage capitalism doesn't get us in here in the UK, uh, one of these diseases certainly will. For sure. And I'm pretty sure the rest of the world wouldn't be too far behind them. Rise of the machines. It yeah, crows for the sky, whales for the ocean. I'm not sure about apes. Apes are kind of too similar to humans. In terms of if we get taken out by a virus, they probably would too. Sad to say. In terms of the land, I don't know. My money's on elephants. Something relatively smart, adaptable, social. With a robust sort of uh, method for dealing with predators. And they've also shown to be evolutionary smart. I mean, they're already evolving to have smaller tusks. I paid already resurfaced? Oh, yeah, that resurfaced in 2007. <laughs> I did pop my dissertation on it. In uni, it resurfaced in 2007 on Madagascar and spread from there. Um, due to overcrowding in prison populations, it transferred through there. Fun fact. Or well, not so fun, depending on your perspective.
Miracle, Gurgle, Praise, Miracle, indeed. Mm. Is it raining? Uh, no, that's on the music magic. Um, it's rain effect on the music. It's the uh, nighttime sky, rainy night Skyrim suite. So it's, it's on the, the music I'm listening to. Orca or not whales? True, but Orca versus something like a humpback? Or. Excuse me. A uh, humpback or a blue whale versus Orca? You know, there's a debate there. But I, I agree that it, it'll be like some form of, of porpoise or, or whale. That sort of category, I think, would probably take over the ocean. Grand Queen one of Nurgle? Really? He wouldn't? Any particular reason? No judgment, I'm just curious. <laughs> More than anything. I'm always interested when people come out with statements like that. Open the past or something, it says. Ah, uh, so you'd rather go Demon King. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of, you know, taking on a role of cooking up some sort of disease. I wouldn't mind that sort of role in uh, Nurgle's, Nurgle's forces. Helping him brew his next plague. And plus you get the whole like you'd be ravaged by pain but you don't care situation, which you know, someone who deals with chronic pain, that's an incredibly tempting prospect. Plus you get all the pet nerglings you want. And the sassy little demons. <clears throat> right with them and being a forcer. It's true. I'll not take the chance of being a plague bearer. Granted. Nah, I'll give you that. I don't know. If it if it gets to the point where, you know, demonhood is an option, I'd rather not half ass it. Not that I think, you know, being a marked warrior is half assing it necessarily, but When given the option, I probably wouldn't say no. Like I said, the idea of hooking up diseases for a living would be pretty cool. Here's the wife of porn. Oh, true, true. I always found that entertaining because, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know if anyone still remembers Valkyrie, the uh, the guy who was a really popular Overwatch streamer a while back. Whenever someone mentioned his name, that was like the wife of corn popped into my head. That corn would be out of choice. Oh, if we're picking from any faction, I'd be a Tyranid. Don't really care which one. Any of them. 
Apart from a Tervagon. Wouldn't want to be a Tervagon, but any of the other kinds. I'd, I'd want to go down the, the Tyranid route. Just... What do you do? I'm hungry. We'll eat. That's it. That's your existence. You you live to eat. <laughs> Seems like pretty pretty sweet one. Can't be good. <laughs> True. That'll be that'll be an option. Not true that you're grumpy. I wouldn't say you're grumpy. But Necron doesn't seem like the worst option you could pick. If we're going any fantasy, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of Sylvaneth. Purely because it appeals to my, my hobbit sensibilities. I'm gonna be a dryad off the wood somewhere. Yeah, Colonel Hunter, so I get to shoot him if they get too close to my forest. Live out my days looking uh, looking after plants. And basically being the uh the epitome of you kids get off my lawn. Doesn't seem like a bad life. Necron? Fancy or AOS? Okay. AOS, Sylvaneth. Fantasy, probably Nurgle. Um, 40k, Nurgle or Tyranid. So for averaging it out, Nurgle wins, but depends on a couple of factors. And I mean, a big part of that is the, you know, <laughs> not to be be a downer about it, but the, the pain-free thing is, you know, or you know, the relief of the the burden of pain. I cannot imagine how good that would feel. That would inspire a hell of a lot of loyalty. Being a bit boy would be pretty cool. Luminath? Okay, Luminath's pretty cool. Pretty neat. I wouldn't say no to being uh, any of the Dwarden factions. So, you know. Um, like a Caradron or Fire Slayer. Probably more likely a Fire Slayer than a Caradron. Just because I, I love the concept of the magma runes. I think they're great. Squat. Squat's fun. I love what they're bringing out for them. I'm keen for Dark Tide as well. 
Uh, I'm I'm signed up for the closed beta. So when when all that comes through, um, definitely keen to get more involved. Uh, I'm probably going to stream a lot of it too, because I played the crap out of Vermintide. Um, kind of lost my momentum with it a bit, and I, I'm just a lot more familiar with the 40k side of things, so having a game that I, I'm already familiar with the factions for and the lore for is going to be super cool. Okay. Sounds like it's coming together weirdly quickly. Not sure what I'm missing. Same reason I'm way more familiar with fancy and AOS. Yeah, I get that. For me, like, 40k is what got me into the hobby. Um, specifically the Caiaphas Kane novels. So I had a very diverse a set of introductory novels. Um, but Tyranids and Space Wolves captured my attention very early on. And don't get me wrong, the fantasy universe is great. Um, I think it's... Like, especially the mortal realms, I actually prefer... Here, unpo possibly unpopular opinion, but I actually prefer AOS over... Um, Warhammer Fantasy Battle as a universe because to me the old world doesn't feel so unique um, as someone who spent a, a huge amount of time in high fantasy, various high fantasy settings the old world just didn't feel unique to me Mortal Realms, unique enough. I would still say it, it's not so... Um, unique, but it, it's, it gets my attention more. I don't know. Just, uh didn't get on with the old fantasy battle universe as much. I guess. Do not like how we got to it. Hmm. Hey, you've made the models and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I like that there's a lot of <laughs> the, again, certain subsets of the Warhammer uh, fandom, uh, I'm not going to say community, I'm going to say fandom deliberately, uh, don't like this aspect, but I love the diversity in um, Warhammer. Yeah, the, the character that I got my name from, the, the Jinxy character in 40k, who is only referenced in like three novels ends up with a prosthetic arm and it's just considered like cool you can punch things harder now <laughs> anyway moving on like disabilities gender age none of it matters in the grimdark universe and the echoing laughters of thirsting god nobody gives a shit what your gender is nobody gives a shit whether you've got the right number of arms, unless you're a heretic, unless you're possessed, unless it's the Inquisition, in which case you're gonna have to have the right number of arms. <laughs> but like disability, gender, age, none of it matters in the grim dark future. And it just is strangely reassuring. In in contrast to all that horror, all that 
darkness, the fact that at the end of it all, all that bullshit fades away, is quite nice and very refreshing to see. I get what you mean about AOS trim, um, about it sort of um, blurring, but I think that was somewhat deliberate. I Obviously, I can't speak with any authority on this, but I think it was a somewhat deliberate thing so that, you know, it was, we either do this right or we don't do this kind of thing, in my opinion. So they either get that culture representation perfectly and you know don't make it a caricature don't make it you know offensive or insulting or you don't do it and they they chose to make it to drive it away from real world cultures so that you know there wasn't that risk of unintentional offense or confusion or anything like that and you know i mean at least 40k at its heart it's satire 40k is satire of fasc fascism so you know whilst uh, they can have the disclaimer of any similarities to real world thing is purely coincidental. Not all of it's pure coincidence. And it's the same for AOS, it's not purely coincidentally... You know... The, the, refer the references that are there are deliberate. For a reason. But the ones that have been removed have also been removed for a reason. It's, it's a very deliberate choice, and I actually am quite impressed with how they've chosen to go about it. But I, again, I understand why people might not agree with me on that one. <clears throat> Should I things? Yeah, I, I think this, obviously, it's not a perfect move, but I think there's still some work that they need to do to unshackle themselves from those. Um, but I think what they have done so far has been very good. And I think uh, for a hobby that started 30 years ago, <laughs> you know, and has so much IP and so much lore and so many factions, I think the amount of work they've done towards, you know, making it their own, but also making it so that anyone can play any faction and not feel like they're unintentionally parodying another culture or, you know, they can, they can feel represented, but they don't feel like it's a parody of a culture. Because I'm sorry, fascism is not a culture. <laughs> like believing the the beliefs of a, a fascist that's not a culture that's the only culture that gets parodied in 40k these days and in GW IP from as far as I can tell eating other races is not a culture it's just that's a dime. but yeah, you can you can relate. You can relate to those cultures without feeling like it's being um, parodied or being turned into entertainment or appropriated even. And I, I think they t they generally, obviously there are exceptions, but overall I think they do a very good job of treading that line between respecting but also not taking too much from those. Yeah, 40k is, is a different beast to, to AOS um, and does have a few different, few more exceptions to the rules, partly due to what it is. 
that, you know, I, overall, rule of thumb, generally speaking, I think, you know, we should give credit where it's due to, to GW for that. For what they have done. Again, it's just my personal opinion. I, you know, obligatory disclaimer. I, my views do not represent those views of Games Workshop or any of its affiliations. These are just the views of me as an individual. Apart from the Warhammer is for everyone. That is a view of GW. It is a statement that they have made and they stand by to this day. It is for everyone, regardless of background, age, race, or ability. If you are a human being with good intentions, you are welcome in this community. And you're welcome in Warhammer. Do not discriminate on age, gender, or anything else. So, uh, for those of you who think that it's only for middle-aged white guys, mm -mm. Is Mikulch that gets perforated a lot? He likes humor aesthetics. I understand. Is when the many feel is important? I get that. I mean, I'm, you know, generic white ident cultural identity. <laughs> I, you know, I, I can't speak on that experience. But listening to people like you, knowing what they do, knowing what the intentions are behind it, to a degree, from where I'm set, they they try their best and the effort is genuine it's not just a token effort need to go no worries magic you don't need to apologize for that thank you so much for stopping in i appreciate it i appreciate everything you've done today i hope you have a wonderful day a whole wonderful night i hope you sleep well Like I said, it, it's not a perfect thing. They, they still have work to do. But... Show me a company that doesn't. <laughs> you know, I think... I don't know, maybe it's because of the position I'm in. But I see a lot of people hating on GW for what they do wrong. And very little credit for what they do right. Of course, it's not perfect. Price of things, not settings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Warcry stuff is gorgeous. I love Warcry. I really want to get more into it. But, uh. Yeah, when you're trying to downsize the amount of hobby stuff you've got, trying to get an, into a yet another new system is probably a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, for me, I... I love... 40k, that's, yeah. I love 40k and I love AOS and I love Warcry and Necromunda. There's a lot to love in, across the IPs. Obviously, you guys know I love Borderlands and Middle Earth in general. But. I'd love to see. And it, it's why I'm so hyped about. People like Henry Cavill bringing attention to the hobby. And oh, the actor's name escapes me, but someone I recently discovered online 
and he played the uh, sheriff in Midnight Mass. That actor, he's just got into Warhammer and painting. He's also a fan of Nurgle, so bonus points. And just seeing the love of someone with that kind of pull, showing genuine love for the hobby and being so giddy and excited about it, is so cool. It's so cool. Oh, well, that's not so much anymore, Trim. There's very few people who play like that anymore. Um, yeah, the, the law may say that, uh, for example, I'm going to take Night Lords because it's a very easy example. Night Lords, the gene seed creates pitch black eyes and literal, like, white, white skin, like porcelain white skin. However, however, that does not mean you have to play them that way. There is nothing to say that you, you know, your particular chapter doesn't have something different in their gene seats. And, you know, there's also the, the kind of tired argument of like, oh, well, if you want, you know, a particular skin color, there's a, there's a chapter for every skin color, that's bullshit and kind of weak. But there is absolutely nothing to say that just because it doesn't fit the the poster card image that your way of doing it your way of showing it is not correct just because it doesn't fit that classic law stated image because of how 40k is now where it's all splinter fleets and chapter like daughter chapters and well, I, I use the word daughter chapters that's wrong but secondary chapters and you know there's there's the we're, what are we on now? Like the Ultima founding? We've, we've got multiple f foundings with multiple gene seeds, with multiple crossovers and experimentation on gene seeds. We're made in the God Emperor's image. Yeah, that is true. That is true. For all trimmerines. <laughs> They're pretty much the only ones who are just like, yeah, we're the, we're the classic white dude. Like, law-wise, um, strictly speaking, salamanders have, you know, Abaddon black skin. Um, white scars have always had um, sort of uh, Asian skin tones is how they've always been portrayed. Um, you know, obviously you have a lot of white presenting, but yeah, Vulcan doesn't count, true. That's why I said, those arguments are weak to me. And I understand why it would leave a bad taste in your mouth. I'm not trying to to say that you're wrong for that. I'm just saying in the current iteration of 40k, it's but in the lore as well. In the lore, it it is being reinforced um, slowly, but the lore moves incredibly slowly in this game, unfortunately. It, the the shift on tabletop is being reflected in the law, which is what I like. <laughs> yeah. Rock love skin doesn't count. True. I do I'm not disagreeing with you. But we're seeing it, the change. We're at the tipping point. The Scots being modeled with darker skin? That's good. I mean we've we've got, you know sisters getting all different skin tones. We've got um, we've got Stormcasts with, you know, different skin tones and genders. We're getting more, um, female representation in classically male-only factions. So it is changing, which is, I agree, it's slow and it's frustrating and I completely understand how it would put you off. Alathos made you like AOS right away. I get that. I completely get that. I mean, I, I may be non-binary, but the the lack of female uh, female representation was a frustration to me. Because, you know, 
I came into this hot when I am femme presenting, you know, I read female. So having no one that looked like me to play, unless you had the, the token female faction, kind of sucked. It's obviously a slightly different problem, but I, I understand the sentiment to a degree. But even in the time that I've been in a hobby, it's changing for the better, which is a good thing to see. And people like Arch and Arch Warhammer and his ilk are getting pushed out. For those who aren't aware, Arch, previously known as Arch Warhammer, um, is someone who forgot that the fascism in 40k is satirical. He was very open about uh, his beliefs on that. And um, was asked by Games Workshop to uh, stop using the IP and imagery and all of his promotional stuff on his YouTube because his values did not match up with the company values. And it's a very diplomatic and generalized overview of that situation. You can find a lot of information about it online though. <clears throat> oh gosh. New female monster slay it looks awesome. Do you not idea like yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Um, the, the, the leading general for Sigma Zamis is a strong black man. I love that too, Jerome. I love that. I love that um, we're getting, you know, f diverse female leaders in other factions. I love that we're getting, you know, we're getting more. We're getting more representation. It takes time to get everyone represented and I'm okay to wait I love that it's somewhat recently been rediscovered about how completely non-binary Mechanicus is <laughs> like these guys are more machine than man uh, but there was a lot of discussion online recently about, oh my god, did did anyone else realize? And those of us who've been Black Library fans before anything else, uh, were like, well, yes. Frequently they are described as transcending gender. <laughs> it was quite nice to see the, the majority of the um, hobby community kind of going, hey, that's really cool, I never realized that before. Obviously you have Arch and his ilk screaming wokeism as usual, but they, you know, they, they shit their pants over the slightest thing that isn't, that doesn't fit the very narrow worldview, so I discount their opinion entirely. Goblins and, yeah. I can't talk a lot about Arch publicly. But, um, suffice it to say, I hold him in very low esteem. And the fact that a company the size of Games Workshop paid attention to what he was doing and said, no, stop, this does not align with our company values, you are not allowed to use our IP. Yeah. Yeah, my position, yeah. I mean, I can... <laughs> I can, uh... I can tell you some stories privately, but publicly... All I can say is... The stuff that he said, the stuff that he did... And him... What he got from GW and a cease and desist was... Both needed, warranted, and welcomed 
by the community at large. No matter what he likes to believe. I don't typically go out of my way to shit talk other content creators on stream or on videos, but... You know. If you know, you know, and if you don't, you can, you can find the information on Google. It's publicly available. Non-binary main character. Oh, that's awesome. Shape-shifting non-binary. That that is the dream. Oh, oh for me anyway. <laughs> Having shape-shifting abilities would be awesome. Living the non-binary dream. distant future I'm gonna do some real like I want to do some something that has you know, maybe a non-binary paint scheme on something or uh, a more more of a pride set on something I've been feeling the urge to do something like that and uh, I just need to find the right project, <laughs> you know. I might just get a set of generic intercessors and do them all up in the various pride flags. Isn't that one that we have? How a shoe shifting. Shift by makeup and specific attention to. Oh, I like that. Ah, oh, that is so cool. That is very cool, Trim. I like that. If you ever decide to showcase the finished works, I'd love to see it. There's a lot of characters. I mean, yeah, sometimes it's it's good to let your uh, your audience work it out for themselves. I keep forgetting to get a discreet uh, pronoun badge, actually. Just a completely off the topic thing, but. Whilst I am not overly picky about my pronouns, I uh, do always prefer it when I get you know, people taking the time to use the gender neutrals rather than gendered pronouns for me. Ah, oh, 
What are some examples? True. Because I, I am also a huge mythology nerd. I adore mythologies from as many cultures as I can find reputable sources for. I forget how much I love Warlock Brands under a strong light. Such a pretty colour. It's just dark brown with these deep copper flecks in. Such a beautiful colour. More worth a look. You ever get the chance? Morning, Bess. Welcome in. Minkinanka? I don't know that one. Does it have a, another name, maybe? Oh, did I just get paint all over my face? No, okay. <laughs> That's all right. Having a moment there where I thought I got paint everywhere. Uh, dragon from Central Africa. Oh, okay. I'll have to look that one up. Body of a kaka, head of a horse, and the neck of a giraffe. Seven creature with the body of a kaka, head of a horse, and the neck of a giraffe. Wow. <laughs> it's a hell of a, a mixture of animals represented there. How's it going, Thess? Hope you're having a good morning so far. I think I have the final colour scheme for these in my head now. <clears throat> I just crawled out of bed. <laughs> On the new elephant oh, I love the lion turtles. Uh, except for the last minute reason not to go to work. Vomiting is always a good one. Food poisoning. You thought you were okay, you had something to drink and you weren't okay. <laughs> Food 
Food poisoning or migraines are my, my go-to emergency. I need an excuse not to go to work. Fan of um, chimeras, shapeshifters, you know that, that kind of thing. I'm I'm currently learning more about, uh, funnily enough, about British folklore. And it's kind of location based, but there's a lot of, um, you know hedge witches and things like that. It's very, very interesting. I love comparing folklore from different places. It's hedge witches, small demons, um, lots of that kind of thing. got some local areas around here that are, you know, rumoured to be haunted and it's kind of cool. I love that sort of thing. It's okay, I've got to be hidden. I need to do a small correction where I've overspilled a little bit. Hello, why is this not working? Not enough paint on the brush. There we go. And Okay, so it's not the neatest. There'll be some, some tidying up to do tomorrow morning when the light's a bit better. But these are pretty much done at this stage. Which means I'm onto the really fun bit. Get to glue some arms on. And, uh,. Hmm, what am I on? Timing am I on? 
Don't really have much time left today, sadly. But I can glue some arms on. And I can do these last little extra... Um, like these extra little scenery bits that I wanted to add. And unfortunately, I'll have to go... Because, uh... I have that pesky work thing myself. Uh, I'm gonna pose these up. Um, so I've only got a small amount of work to do. It's posing, so gluing and posing. Um, writing up the symbols on them, which will take all of five minutes. But I need reference points for the symbols. Um, and then wrapping, painting and wrapping the vines, which is probably going to take the longest bit, but I can't do that on stream, unfortunately. But luckily I've got no more than an hour's worth of work left to do on these, which is great. That's basically what I wanted to be at at the end of today. Assuming it all goes to plan, of course. Um, so I should be able to finish them off tomorrow in my own time. And I'll, uh, I'll post photos. That. Let's get these last two bits painted first. I like how they've turned out so far. I'm actually really happy with those. Um, they're not perfect just yet, but that's what the the tidy up session tomorrow will be all about. Be adding. Little bits of shading and detail, like I mentioned. You know, the picky bits that literally no model maker likes showing on on streams. I'm just gluing gluing limbs into place. Two. It's a little bit on the shorter side tonight, but with 99, the guy, the, the two guys that I wanted to do, and done a third to the point I wanted it to go to. So I'm happy with progress. Plus, it's very getting to that time of night where uh, it gets noisy outside my window, and I don't want to subject you all to that. So, I'm gonna finish these off. They don't take two minutes. You can glue these on. Apparently, headbutt my uh, <laughs> my camera as tradition dictates. Here, I'll go a 
that one. Go into this one. Kind of don't want to change this guy's base, so I might actually do two in the same spot on this guy's. So I'm happy with this middle one's base. So I'm going to go across here, like that. Because I want them all to have unique looking bases. And there's going to be extra stuff added. There's going to be a third. So for context, I'm going to be adding some of these, these vines to all three models. Um, but I need to give it 24 hours for everything else to set into place first. Um, so that's where I'm at <laughs> at the moment. And likewise, I can't use the paint pen over paint that's not been set for more than 24 hours. So the symbols, like the one, the ones on the commander here, which I bring over here. It can be seen a bit better. So symbols like this guy has, they were all done with a paint pen. They all have to be done at a later date. So I think I've I've reached the the stage that I wanted to reach tonight with these guys. So that it will actually be the last Tau stream. <laughs> Which is good, I'm sure. All of you are kind of sick of saying these guys. I know I am somewhat sick of them already, and I've still got work to do on them. Um, so Sunday will be chibis. It'll be the last two chibis from the set that I've been painting. And then I will be working out what my next project is on Sunday, probably. Um, in terms of gaming, I do plan on finishing Stray off on Friday. So if you're avoiding spoilers or anything like that, the next stream that I do this week will be Stray and it will be the last two or three chapters. So, fair warning for anyone who is wary of that. Um, <laughs> this is about an anthem stream. Uh, I do want to do an anthem stream at some point. I might do it uh, in a couple of weeks time. <laughs> But I, I've got the Anthem bug again. <laughs> I want to play more Anthem. Um, but I don't need to stream to play Anthem. That's the beautiful thing. When are you streaming Anthem, Thess? I want to see you stream Anthem. <laughs> Maybe so I can annoy you. <laughs> But yeah, um, I think that's all I'm doing for today. Are you doing picking up on a new account? Oh, please do. If you if you do pick it up on a new account, play it through again. Please stream it because I want to relive the story again, even if it's just vicariously. <laughs> Honestly, I'm I'm kind of tempted to do the same, but I don't think I could do it all in one stream. <laughs> I might be able to, but we'll see. We'll see. Definitely some Anthem in the future. Um, definitely other games in the future as well. Super keen on Dark Tide, super keen on a few games that are coming out. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. But yeah, I am going to leave it there for today. I know it's a kind of a short stream. Uh, apparently that my working pace is just kind of snowballed so sorry for the shorter stream uh, the, vod the vod for this will be up on Friday so it'll be a couple of days back for those watching on YouTube um, but yeah thank you all so much for joining me I appreciate the company I hope you all have a wonderful day and night wherever everyone was Take care of yourselves, stay safe, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now, folks.